So, you have the flu, huh? Not sure. I wish Dr. McCoy would see me soon. This sore throat is really bad. No need to wait for the doc. You've got a flu, all right. What makes you say that? Well, when you have the flu, you'll get a sore throat. Since you clearly have a sore throat, you must have the flu. Yeah, I guess you're right. Hope it won't last too long. Excuse me, crewman. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, sir? The argument you are employing, Mr. Erickson, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the fallacy of affirming the consequent, also known as the fallacy of the converse. His argument seems to make sense. That may be so, but the form of the argument is invalid. Affirming the consequent is the formal fallacy of inferring the converse from the original statement. Arguments employing this error have the general form, if P, then Q, Q, therefore, P. In your statement, you suggest, if one has the flu, then they have a sore throat. Given that they have a sore throat, therefore, they have the flu. But having the flu is clearly not the only cause of a sore throat, since many conditions can lead to throat irritation, such as the common cold, tonsillitis, strep throat, or simply straining your voice. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Of course. I should rethink what I'm trying to say. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as affirming the consequent or the fallacy of the converse. It's only logical 